The countdown to the launch of India's third moon mission, Chandrayaan-3, has begun. ISRO has integrated the uppermost part of the rocket with the rest of the LVM-3 rocket body at the Sri Harikota launch site. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is slated to launch between 13th and the 19th of July, with 13th being the most probable day. The landing is expected to happen sometime in the middle of August. But the launch pad won't just witness the Chandrayaan-3 rocket taking off. A book will also be launched there. PRISM, the ancestral abode of Rainbow, which is a collection of science articles, will be released from where the LVM-3 would lift off carrying Chandrayaan-3. The book is written by national award-winning filmmaker-writer Vinod Mankara and will be the first book to be released from a rocket launch pad anywhere in the world. Chandrayaan-3 will be looking to complete the job left unfinished by Chandrayaan-2. The Vikram lander crash landed on the moon's surface in 2019. This happened because the lander and rover component had been unable to reduce their descent speed during the final moments. Learning lessons from that, Chandrayaan-3 does not have an orbiter component. The lander and rover are designed to operate and to collect data on the moon's surface. This will happen for one lunar day, which is equivalent to approximately 14 days on Earth. After the landing, the rover would separate itself from the lander and move around on the surface of the moon, carrying out experiments in collecting data. The LVM-3 rocket, which will carry the Chandrayaan-3, is the most powerful rocket developed by ISRO. It was the same rocket that had carried Chandrayaan-2, but it can go on to make six successful flights till now. The latest happening in March this year, which placed 36 satellites into orbits. ISRO has integrated several new technologies in Chandrayaan-3 to avoid failure. At the time of the landing, the lander's speed is supposed to be reduced to less than 2 meters per second to ensure that there is no crash landing. Chandrayaan-3, if successful, will make India the fourth country to soft land a spacecraft on the moon.